This place has a really twisted, gruesome history to it. Holy crap, this is huge. Look at this. I would not know how to get out of here. You gotta what say, he never talks. What happened? What just happened? Did you see that? What? Was that you? What? One patient turned to the other and he stabbed him 17 times with a homemade shank. Jesus. He didn't die in the bathroom though. He ended up crawling out of the bathroom all the way down to the nurse's desk before he passed away. The guy hit the floor and Jim beat him to death with his own fist. We think that we still see him, but they grabbed the metal frame bed. They put the post right on top of his head and they took turns jumping up and down on the bed until the post went through his skull and hit the floor. To this day, people will still make contact with Dean. Oh my god, I said there was something inside here with me. Are you with this dude? Do you want to get out of here? Yo, 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 bro! Oh, oh, okay. Look, look, okay! Yeah, what? Stop the music box. Is there someone standing in that door over there watching us? Oh! <gasps> Give us any sign. What? Just saw it. Just, just saw it. Who's up here with us? I'm right here. Alright Lily, can you go back to your room? We're gonna go walk to a different part of the building real quick, okay? And it's scary over there, so we don't want you coming with us. Here it is. Right there, for what? Oh my god. Lily, you want me to go by myself? What's up everyone and welcome back to the TFIL overnight tour of abandoned, haunted, cool exploration Ooh, yeah. type places. Ooh. We're still on our uh, north, what are we in? The mid Midwest? Mid we're Midwest, mid East Coast, Midwest. We're, we're, West, we're in Virginia. West Virginia. Are we? <laughs> and, and more importantly, <laughs> nobody knows. Nobody knows. We just drive all day to new places. Uh, they just wake up and we're like, by the way, we're in Hawaii now. Yeah, Thank you, yeah. Alton. We're at uh, Trans Allegheny Lunatic Asylum. Uh, this is, of course, in Weston, West Virginia. Wow. This place is amazing. We actually just found out that it is six acres walking interior interior of six acres. That's cool. That's so. And more big. importantly, this one's a cool fact. The actual plot of land it's on is 666 acres no. with 13 no. buildings. No. You're saying it's no. no way! Wait, 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 you're saying no it's 666 six, six and yes. 13. 666 acres, that is the legal amount of land that we are on right now that makes what? up Trans-Allegheny. Yep, what? and there's 13 what? buildings with six physical acres in here. There's four stories and this building alone okay. with the basement and there's buildings basically all over the property. This place has a really, really what? twisted, gruesome history mm -hmm. to it. As Dude, far it's as like it's really? cursed, right? I mean, like, like what? 4,000 4, 4, 4, lobotomies. Over 4,000 lobotomies and a lot of deaths from the lobotomies. A lot of, a lot of murders that have happened here, either patient on patient or abandonment. There are people that have been born in, literally born, born, here? born here and kept here and died here. Mm -hmm. A girl named Lily, who I'm sure we're gonna hear about later. What? So apparently, no matter where you go in this building, there are hot spots. Yeah. There are activities, they've even classified the activity here as either kind of mundane and intelligent. Mm. So between like communicative, like speakings with the paranormal and then just kind of like doors moving, things of that nature. So in different areas, all different areas. They have a map, I believe they have a map that literally lists like murder room or oh, bed person murder room or drowning room or what? yeah I, I think they literally have it laid out <laughs> they made it easy on us yeah they made it super easy <laughs> right, perfect. so whatever you're in like for a, you know what i mean instead yeah. of like sushi you want lobotomy yeah. goes yeah, yeah. take a dip <laughs> into the murder room pizza, yeah. you know you just get a little bed post murder yeah. oh, like, you know, <laughs> a lobotomy roll yeah <laughs> <laughs> whatever you're feeling you know just Taraki, gotta uh, oh. brain scramble <laughs> oh my yeah. god okay, <laughs> So, that got I mean, dark. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> got dark that's where we are, though. I know so. the sun is down. It does, I really right? thought this place was beautiful until now. I mean, it is beautiful. Jeez, so, that's what it is. Yeah. We're in for a wild night. Yeah. We're here all night. We're meeting up with a guide again, who's just gonna give us the lay of the land and the history. 
and all of his paranormal experiences here, and then wow. of course we'll take it from there on our own. Yeah. Okay. So right. again, you know, en enjoy this video. We're excited about these. These are really cool places to us. And yeah. Oh I yeah. I feel like we're stepping up our videos every time. So yes. This is some packed info. Oh, hundred percent, dog. All right. All right let's should we get, get in, in there? there? Yeah. Right, let's, let's go. go. <laughs> uh, give it a give it a friendly knock. That's the least friendly knock I've ever heard. That was a heard. nice one. No. There was a nice jingle to that in my head. Did that, is it did open? No, it didn't open, so, I don't know. We gotta Maybe go home? Hmm? We have to go home? I think so. I guess that's it. Yeah, Back to Cali. Thank you guys for Thanks watching. Thanks for watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was awesome. Uh, we have a contest, so if you guys want to enter it. Give yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it a good old haunting knock. What's a haunting, haunting knock? knock? Like, so like, knock, but don't knock, you know what I mean? Give oh, it a oh, happy oh, knock, oh. give it a haunting knock. How crazy would it be if we open the door and no one's there? Um, stop. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. If we heard the voice. We just hear the keys and the voice, oh and then he, the door swings God. open and no one's there. That'd, That'd be, be so exciting. That's like execution. That box. was the opposite. You said terrified, and I said excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everyone, before we head into Trans Allegheny to start our tour and our night here, we just want to remind you that Corey and I are actually doing a fun little contest. We'll be flying out to your hometown and bringing you to do an investigation, an overnight stay, something fun, whatever it is that you want in your area. There are two ways to enter. One is super simple. All you have to do is leave a like and a comment on this video. That equals one entry. The other way is to go over to SendToSociety.com, which is a clothing line that we run, and for every dollar you spend equals one entry. Check that out. Enjoy and... I'm excited. No, I'm, ex I'm Dude, so look excited. Look at this place, I dog. So Stop it! No, please don't! Please don't! Please! What if I do? I'm not doing the contest. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Come on first. You always take first. I don't want to do that. Hello, Scott. Oh, How are you? Hello! Hey! How are you? Hello, Chen Zhao Ding Music Song. Good to meet you guys. Good to meet you. Yes. Nice to meet you. Oh, all right, man. Oh, yeah? All right, um, we're going to start here. This is the Criminally Insane Forensics Ward. Um, and this used to house the Criminally Insane at the asylum from 1989 until the hospital shut down in 94. Um, as far as activity goes, we've had a lot of guests report seeing shadows in these guard shack looking things right through there. Um, under the guard shacks, uh, you'll see like little portholes right there where uh, back in the day the staff used to give the patients cigarettes and candy as a reward for good behavior. When you guys are out through the asylum, you're going to see like little piles of cigarettes and candy and that's where people have come in and they've like made friends with the ghosts and they've actually left them cigarettes wow. and candy. So if you see that, you know you're in an active area. It's a really cool area. So we, should, we didn't bring we any post, candy. We could post make some candy. That's a good idea. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do anything. Um, so I'm really excited to see what you guys get down in this area. Um, it's, it can be a little grumpy at times. There's a lot of reports of growling um, and uh, red eyes, red uh, light anomalies through this one section. Why has that been the common thing, growling? Huh. Red eyes is new. Yeah. Red eyes, we, we haven't know, seen that. We've not encountered that before. Yeah. Most recently, we've had a couple folks like get a little, you know, some touching on the back of their, like a little burning on the backs of their, their oh, really? shoulders and stuff like that. Um, so I'll be interested if you guys can get any of that to happen to you tonight. That'd be kind of cool. We're gonna make our way down this hallway and we'll go over to lobotomy recovery. Cool. Right? Cool. Notice he said cool and not terrifying. Yeah. Yeah, because he's he's probably like Elton. Well, no, he's now. No, nobody's like Elton. What I just want to know is that like if they're leaving cigarettes for ghosts back then, do you think when we have ghosts, like they're gonna be leaving vapes? Yeah, like she's like little piles of like. I mean, there's like a giant pile of puffs. <laughs> like go find the puffs. That's what the activity is. Wow. It's like so a two percent uh, of the first floor. Yeah, this is just the first. All right, we got five point nine acres to go. Wow. 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 It's just like all black. It's like never ending. Where do you go? Uh, this way? <laughs> Alright, dude, Evan knows. Yeah, Evan knows. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, Evan He's over this way. If I see a room with one chair, I know it's there for reason. Yeah, and yeah. Oh, oh my god. Never a good reason. Brandon. Brandon. <laughs> Remember how you said you find the way through the woman's way? This one, I oh, wow. Woo! Yeah. We're gonna bring back the first. Oh. What is it? Uh, gated basement. Look at that. Is there a lock on there? Wait, wait, yeah. that goes to the basement? Yeah, we're, we're actually going to go down to the subfloor, and that's where they did a lot of the recovery for the lobotomy procedures. Oh, yeah. right, cool, cool, cool. Right. And... <laughs> Dude, wow. Isn't that Dude, that's holy crap. This is huge. Look at this! I would not know how to get out of here. Already would not know. 
This is so if, you, if you blindfolded me and dropped me off somewhere randomly in here, I would never get out. So that's what we're doing? Mm -hmm. That's an idea, isn't it? That hey. is an idea. It's a lot of ideas. We were supposed to do that to you with their phone recorder. But I am too smart and I remember my way out. Alright, so this is lobotomy recovery, and there would have been metal frame beds from that wall all the way down to the other end, and it would have been filled with patients that just received their lobotomies. And if you're not familiar with the procedure, the way they did it was they would give the patients electric shocks to put them under, then they would take an ice pick with an device, stick it into the soft part of the eye socket, uh -huh. and then smack it with the mallet under the frontal lobe. Uh -huh. There they would take and move it back and forth like a windshield wiper, and that would disconnect the connections in the frontal lobe basically changing their personality. They become more docile and easy to get along with. Consequently, down here, one of the most common reports we get is people will get a small pinch in their eye and sometimes will get thunderclap headaches. We've even had guides go home, wake up the next day with black eyes. Oh. It's messed up. In addition to that, tons of psychiatry uh, down here. And we've had a couple of operations spotted on either ends of the hallway. Jeez, Jeez. Jeez. this is no joke. That sounds awful. That sounds terrible, dude. Oh, We've got a lot of nastiness already with these guys. Oh, just hope that was that. Is there something behind me? <laughs> Whoa! Was there something behind me? You did not know what you know. Did you see something? 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 What did you see? What did you see? What happened? What happened? What, happened? what just happened? He just feels like you see. No, 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 wait, wait, it's one second. Yeah, you gotta say, he never talks. What he happened? What just happened? Evan, did you see something too? That's a yes. <laughs> That's always a yes. So, this right before the hospital shut down was like an admin area, but prior to that, they used this as the procedure area. Um, down this one hallway, are some individual suites where they would do electroshock therapies and then some of the lobotomies. And then over here, there's a large mass unit. So they would take and move uh, gurneys in, you know, one at a time into this one mass unit and then you just they would do the, uh, the procedures in there. Wow. As far as activity goes, shadow figures on either ends of the hallways. We've actually had people like walk down here, they'll see something and they'll be like, oh hell no, they turn around and go back the other way yeah. and it's standing down there. So you oh. got nowhere to go. It's, it's like a, nice. that's like the worst pickle in baseball that you've ever heard. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty bad. Now there's also been reports of a mimic, like you'll, you'll hear somebody that you came with call your name and you'll oh, go to find them no. and then you just kind of get off in your own little world oh, and there's nobody there. Oh no, 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 no. I love this place. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know you do. This then is how come you were running? Be Fun. If you like what this you, stuff, why were you? What were you and Evan running from? Know, well, we got to keep learning. So. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, go. oh my Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're the worst ghost hunters ever. When you guys get down to this area, you see the graded uh, gate. Yeah. You know that if you go down there and you go all the way to the end, you'll reach another stairwell, which will lead you up to this this hallway yeah. too. And so it's just one great big loop ah, through here. Okay. Yeah, it makes it a little easier to navigate. It's quite a long loop. Uh, thing to stop God. running in. I kind of wish I brought like electrical tape, so I could like mark different parts. Yes. And then we have to like walk like a course. Hey, Elton. Yes. Do you want to open my zipper pocket? Oh, right do you really have no. electrical tape? So we'll take these all off later. Okay, that's good. And then that way we know where everything is. Cool. Do you want to put one right here? Yeah. Well, and then I'll do this from now on. Right he says. And then later, we'll see if we can walk the whole thing in sequence. By ourselves. Yeah. I'm just ready for Corey. Yeah. <laughs> At any point in time now. I'll just close all the doors on him. That's not very handy. We came from here. No, I shut this door. What? We did not come from over there. Where's Corey? I. Is Corey behind that door though? Right where we came from? I was waiting for you. Look at you hide. Not even behind a wall. Just like. Dude, <laughs> just a wall. Oh, look, a cigarette. Oh, that actually. Right here. Oh yeah. So this must be a hot spot. Oh really? I mean, that might be good to put a uh, REM or a K2 right there. Nice. Nice. Fuck you. You. <laughs> you. <laughs> Throughout the asylum, you're going to see these rooms. They look exactly like this. Got a tile, like Wayne's coating thing going for them, and you'll see spackle marks. And 
they used to put iron rings in those spackle marks. So when they put you in seclusion, they didn't just put you in there and shut and lock the door. They would take and harness you up into a four-point stand. What? Now, now, get this. The person that signed you into the place, they had to be the one to sign you out. So if they really didn't like you, you were going to be in there for a long time. So you just couldn't sit down? Stand. You couldn't do anything? Like no, because it's a five-point harness. So you've got your harness to four points and then one around the waist. So you've got one for each limb oh and one my around God. the waist. What? How is that? That's, that's torture. That's actually torture. So they would you sleep know, like that. Funny, funny thing. Uh, I have people that give me the work in cycles to this day. Yeah. They come in and they say they, they do the same thing. They, they still do it, but they don't do it like that anymore. They do it to like a gurney or something like yeah, that. Yeah, something you can lay down on. Because yeah. that's kind of cruel and unusual punishment. You think... El Elton. Thumbnail. <laughs> If he, if, like, if they could make it happen, could we like put Corey up in those? <laughs> I don't have the key to that. Oh. Oh. All right, so this is the main lobby. Um, you have the doors on either side. Uh, the action that we get in the in the, in the lobby is um, we hear a lot of phantom voices, disembodied voices come through here. Okay. Um, so you might hear from time to time like a crowd almost in front of the corner. Oh, great. Oh, it's so marvelous. Is that what it is? Probably. From that loss. <laughs> From your awful loss. <laughs> Look in the room behind you. Okay. okay. That is this one. That's fun. This is gonna be a lot. El Elton. Elton, yeah. what are you doing? Yeah. What? I was just saying hi. This one. I don't know. I just want to give her company, I guess. Face. You see that? I don't know. I didn't get a chance here in Rock. Dude. Elton. This is that is so. This creepy. is kind of messed up. Oh my. This is going to be the prettiest board that we have. All the antiques in here, they're not original. They were bought at uh, auction to basically make this place look like he did in 1910. Wow. Uh, this is where they house all the trustee patients. As far as activity goes, we've had guests take pictures inside the rooms. They've got uh, shadow figures just hanging out in the rooms. And on occasion, people will hear fire alarms down here, and there's not a working fire alarm in the place. So what? Wow. wow. This is the old geriatrics board. Um, one of the most notable cases we had in here was a lady by the name of Ruth. Ruth suffered a brain aneurysm up in violent women's and they put her down here in a feeding chair. She was like really violent uh, with both patients and staff. And to this day, people will come down here and they'll say that they get knocked or they'll have their hair pulled. My own personal experience, my first year, I used to get scratches all up and down my shins. I wouldn't notice it until I got home. I started taking a shower and they were like, burn. So, yeah. Jeez, all right. So this is where one of our more notable spirits hangs out. Her name's Lily. Lily identifies as being nine years old. Um, all of the toys that you'll see in Lily's room, those are all donations from fans of Lily. They'll come in here and they'll give her toys. She works with flashlights. Um, I've seen her manipulate K2s, balls and balloons. She can move those. Um, she has kind of an early bedtime, so the sooner you can get down here to talk to Lily, the better. Um, after about one o'clock, we don't, we don't hear from Lily that much. All right, I'm gonna take you guys to the oldest section. Hey, Lily. Yeah, we, we researched a lot about Lily. Yeah. Hi, Lily. Yeah, Lily is the girl that we talked about that was born here, imprisoned here. And oh, died. that's that's Lily. That's her room. That, that's the case with Lily, right? In theory, she was a Lily was a child of rape. Exactly. And then, yeah. That's um, I've, I've I've heard differing stories on it, and I've been here for four years. Um, the the. Basically what I know is that, I mean, she's really playful. People will actually hear her laugh throughout the asylum. They'll get EVPs of it. I mean, some of them I think have actually posted it to like wow. YouTube and stuff. Yeah. I'm hoping you guys get that too. That'd be cool. That would be What's great. up with this door? This is an old fire door. Check this out. So if there was a fire, the theory is that it would melt this cable and it's built on a decline. Oh. So it just went That is awesome. That is awesome. Oh, I just said that. This is where they house the first nine women in 1864. Um, this entire area, this is where they started construction in 1858. And they finally got all the building constructed in 1881. But this is where they house most of the new patients, or the very first patients. Um, common things down here in the Civil War section, or in the, we call it the Civil War section, but the oldest section of the hospital, 
um, are apparitions, full-bodied apparitions. People will say that they've seen shadow figures down this area. On occasion, in the uh, nurse's um, office, right, which is right behind us, or right over to my right, um, people have actually seen a woman uh, looking back at them through that, that one window. Okay. Look at that hand on the window. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Brandon. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I'll just say we get to the top and we'll end up here. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Evan's been a ghost the entire time. None of our videos exist. We're all dead. Wait. What? This is so. Did you hear that? What? Was that you? What? What are you talking that about? Was that just you talking? That was echoing, maybe? What are you talking uh, about? The... Yeah. There was something down that way. I was making a really bad joke that I didn't hear. Yeah, I'm going to be here on the side. So, this will be Ward 5. Uh, this is the children's ward. And this used to house children, toddler size, up to 11 years old. Um, most common report that we have in here is peekers, little heads that'll peek in and out of the doorways. We have a couple of resident spirits that hang out there. Down towards that end where you guys heard that noise, there's a guy down there that identifies himself as Ben. Um, ben also identifies as being 50 years old, and when you ask him what he's doing in the children's ward, he'll cuss you out if you have like some sort of like, um, like a spirit box or something like that. It's oh, a real good way to kind of keep wow. him, get in touch with him. Jeez. Down here, we have another little girl. Her name's Emily. Emily. How many deaths were there for, from kids? Deaths? Yeah, just um, like any apparitions. I, I, I'm not real certain. See, it's really hard to figure out when it comes to kids. Again, same thing uh, is, uh, with, with Emily. People have left toys for her. Um, they, she has fans just like Lily does. Um, she will also manipulate balls and balloons. There are some people that, that speculate that uh, Emily and Lily are the, are the same spirit. This is the juvenile's court. Um, this would house patients between the ages of 11 and 17. Most common experience people have down here is that they'll have their pant legs tugged on and their shoelaces untied. And that has to do with this bathroom down here. There were two patients in this bathroom. We got into an altercation. One patient turned to the other and he stabbed them 17 times with a homemade shank. Jesus. He didn't die in the bathroom though. He ended up crawling out of the bathroom all the way down to the nurse's desk before he passed away. No, and so we're thinking that people are like feeling it. Now my own personal experience, I haven't had anything tug on my legs or anything, but I get pinches, little pinches all up and down my legs whenever I'm walking down through here. Jeez, how many, you know, patient on patient, you know, grandchildren are already attacked? Tons. And you gotta figure, as big as this building is, it was only meant to house 250 patients. Yeah. But by the mid 60s, well over 2,500. So that's 10 times the amount that should be in here. And you get the uh, patient rooms in here, you're, you're, you're talking about, you know, about 75 to maybe 80 oh. teenagers in this one area. Well, I can only imagine what they would do to somebody that attacked them in that one because they were already kind of crazy. So we're, you can go back just to here, right? I mean, nothing really happens to you. Exactly. Oh my God. This okay. is the center section. This is the, the doctor's apartments. Oh, so wow. if you were a doctor here from the 1880s and 1930s, this is where you stayed. They had office space, dining areas, apothecaries down this way. And then their apartments were all down this way. Um, that doorway leads to a roof. And if you guys ever need a break to go outside or something like that, you can actually go out on that, uh, that roof down there and, um, oh, and look out over the city. This portion used to look like the rest of the... Oh, for sure. Take okay. a look over here. Oh, wow. Oh, so immense restorations. Wow. Wait, God. what are we even... Oh, is that down that hallway right there? No, this is right here. Oh, what? Right here. Yeah. Oh, that's where this used to be. Yeah, there this, used wow. to be like a wall right there and, and, and it went into a, a corridor. So they opened all this up and they restored it back oh. to the way it should look in 1910. I want to see one of those house flipping shows but right here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> The activity, um, I'm really interested in, you know, like you guys seeing if you can get something, it's the violent wards, the most violent wards oh, in the boy. asylum. They're right up the stairs here. This will be the grand staircase, probably the best way to, to maneuver through the place. So this is violent women's. This would have housed the most violent women in the asylum. Um, when the women had a problem with you, what they would do is they would uh, stage themselves in the rooms and wait for you to get to the sweet spot, and then they would all converge on you. They would just kind of plot and plan. The activity mimics that in here. People that walk through here will get tugs from all sides as they walk down through the corridor. Jesus. That's crazy. Wow. Strategic. What game does someone violate? Uh, if, they, if they attacked other patients or if they attacked uh, staff, um, 
that, or if they were criminally insane and they were checked out and they were actually uh, made wards of the state and they were violent, then this is, this is where they would have been. This is where they would have ended up at. Wow. This is, I can't wait to investigate it. You bastard! Uh, I swear, there's gonna be a punch thrown one of these times. Oh no! Oh my is god. Is that a film of Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Wait. That guy's showing off too, but it's how he's got two going at the same time. Oh, you're not supposed to be, it's only supposed to be one at a time. This guy's like, I can do two. That's no big deal. Are you serious? Yeah, that's what he's doing right there. Doing a chopstick with a bottom. Yeah, exactly. Hold up two on. and. It's not that Chinese food. What? And it would change their personalities. Yeah, because it would take out the nerves. This is by the nerves. One of the, more, the more notable patients that we had here was a guy by the name of Jim Woods. Uh, Jim stood about six foot three. He was like over 350 pounds. He was an ex-boxer. This guy just run this ward. He ran this ward until actually they, they shipped all the patients when they closed down in 1994 over to the new Sharps Mental Hospital. And he actually went that way too. Um, but his first room was this one. They gave him a um, they gave him a roommate, and it's rumored that this roommate would come out strip naked and scream at the top of his lungs and then when they caught him they would throw them back in with Jim. And Jim didn't want that so he pinned the guy up against the, the wall with his feet on his chest until he lost consciousness. The guy hit the floor and Jim beat him to death with his own fist. Um, we think that we still see him uh, every once in a while. Most notably down at the end of the hallway there's a large shadow figure that normally comes out and just kind of crosses his arms oh. almost daring you to go down there and, and check him out. Jesus. Which is where we need to go with this. <laughs> yeah, let's go check him out, I guess. Jeez. Well, Brandon said he was really good at jujitsu, so maybe if you know we do check him out, we got a protector. Uh, this is group seclusion. This has a recent history. September 17, 1987, there were three patients in here. One was Dean Matheny. Dean had like the mentality of an eight year old, plus he was deaf and mute. He bit somebody, he got in trouble, and the doctor said, well, if he wants to be Billy Badass, he's gonna send him up here to the violent men section. So they threw him in here with Jim Woods, which I kind of told you about earlier, and there's a guy, another guy by the name of David Mason, and they took one look at Dean and they said, no, not on our watch. So they grabbed the sheets off their bed, they wrapped it around his throat, and they threw it over the water plate, and they lifted him off the ground until he lost consciousness, right? What? They dropped him to the floor and to wake him up, they kicked him in the ribs and in the head. And he stirred, right? So they got him back up and they did it a second time. Dropped him to the floor, kicked him awake again, he stirred again, so they brought him up, hung him back up, and then when he lost consciousness this time, they let him down, but they grabbed a metal frame bed, they put the post right on top of his head, and they took turns jumping up and down on the bed until the post went through his skull and hit the floor. To this day, people will still make contact with Dean. He will respond to like toys and coloring books. Um, people have had really good luck with REM pods and K2s as well as spirit boxes and stuff in here. So I'm, I'm excited to see if you guys get anything in here, or even in this one, this one hallway. That might be the most gruesome death of it. Are you still excited? How old was he? Uh, he had the mentality of an eight year old, but he was in his 20s. And he didn't even do anything to those guys, he just no, came no. in here? Yeah, that's right. And they were he's, like, well, let's do that. Just chilling in here with the rest of the, 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 the patients. Wow. Did the doctors not foresee that Jim Woods would do that? I, if they did, I, I don't know that you know, they, they really care at that point. I think it was more or less that they needed to, you know, they needed to make an example of him, so they sent him up here. How many people did Jim Woods kill in here? I, I mean, I've been told of two, at least two. Too. If there's probably more, if yeah. I had to guess. You can join me back here. I don't like it. Okay. You have where, where did that ball go? Why did you take the ball? Huh? That's Dean's ball, dude. Should I put Dean's ball back? Yes. Yeah, what do you want? Yes, you should. Are you serious? Why are you keeping the ball? Yeah. You're kidding me, right? You gotta put that back. Go put that back. Go by yourself. Brandon, you have to put that back. He literally said no taunting in your team. I'm not taunting. You guys took his ball. What do you mean? Why'd you want the ball? What I meant by taunting is you know, like, you know, Zach Baggins type stuff. Gotcha. Yeah, true. No, no, no. I wasn't taunting. Then I was why do you have the ball? I, it just looked cool. I thought it would be cool to bring it with us. Were you going to keep it? No. We'll we'll just keep, take, no. keep it. Let's see what happens. Let's We're going to take it, it to the, the next place. Dude. Yeah. Oh my god. Now you're going to have something. Remember, you're going to bring that back by yourself. No, nope. somebody's, somebody's coming. coming. Oh, I had to be able to look up. Oh, I had to be able to look up. You didn't even remember. Go, 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 go. 
Go. Alright, come on guys. <laughs> there was a, a, a show that it came in, um, Paranormal Lockdown, with um, Nick Ralph and Tony Blyden. When they came up here, the cameraman that was with them, he turned pale white and he was looking down there at the end of the hallway on the right hand side. And what they caught on camera was like this mass and it turned into like a humanoid figure that, that crawled from right to left. And it confirmed for us reports that we have before and we have to this day. People up here will say that they see something crawl on the floor, the walls, and the ceiling. We've been barked at, we've been yipped at, we've been scratched. A couple of us have been scratched up here. Um, it's, it seems to be intelligent. So I'm, I'm excited to see what you guys get up here too. Especially on all the fourth floor. The fourth so floor. only the cameraman got messed with that time, right? Yeah. The cameraman caught the footage for sure. Yeah. It's and that seems, you, be, that seems to be. That seems to be coming trend. for you, Evan. <laughs> Sorry, Evan. Evan, can you uh, stay in back the entire time, please? Uh -huh. Evan with the camera. <laughs> That'd be amazing if you can turn any wider, though. Wait, now I'm not gonna have a light. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's dead. Right Watch well, him just get dragged away. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at the raccoon. Look at the raccoon oh, right there. Shit. Oh, look. It's so cute. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was big, man. Could that not be like what scratches people? <laughs> That's the nibbling on everyone's legs. That's basically the building. Austin over here. That's it. <laughs> That's, yeah, that's, I, I've left maps for you guys in the, in the break room. Um, I'll be located in the, the office out back. Cool. I've left my number down there, so you guys, if you guys need anything, just text me, call me. Oh, this is the, we're splitting. This is the yeah. end, yeah, so now we have to figure out how to get back on our own, yeah. Oh, no, I'll take you guys down. Oh. I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> Do people ever get, like, poked or touched up here? Yes. That's yeah. what just happened to me. Wait, really? <laughs> on my back. On your back? Yeah. Okay. Like, right in the middle of my back, right below my neck. Ugh. Yeah, shut down on occasion. Well, I don't want to yell. Dude, I, I swear to you, I was like, actually I'm wearing like it. four layers. What did, it, what did it feel? Did it feel like a... A little bit softer. Yeah. It was like a... Okay. All right, well, great start to the evening. I was hoping... Ew, now they're trying to tickle me! <laughs> <laughs> Just like that! All right, so the last couple nights, you were by yourself yep. uh, in the chair room. You were actually by yourself in the sub basement. Yeah. And then two nights ago at Eloise, you were by yourself. And then in I that. went outside. And you ended up outside. Couldn't take it. So the idea I pitched earlier, it seems like I'm up. Yes. It's your turn. You're, you're Absolutely. Definitely. It only makes sense. So what's the plan? You're going to blindfold me. Yes, you're not going to be able to know where you're going. We're going to take you to some random place that we'll yeah. figure out. Yeah, right? we'll figure it out. I think we should go probably Lily's room. Yeah. Everybody's, everybody knows about Lily's room. So, Lily's room will be over, you know, I'm not even going to show you where Wherever Lily's room. room is, we'll be there. You will have to find your way back using these tools. Well, not actually, that's not even a tool. You have to just use your camera, <laughs> I guess, <laughs> to just be able to get back. So, okay. no flashlight. No, no, so, you guys are going to go investigate in Lily's room. Yes. And then you're just going to, beforehand, you're going to drop me off randomly. And anyway, you, by and myself, and I have to wander the there. halls yep. Yep. until I can figure out how to get there. Yeah. Oh! That's a great idea. Take a seat, Uncle. Mm -hmm. Oh, at least I'll be staying on the first floor. No. 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 Maybe no. Are you going to carry me up the... <laughs> we can <laughs> simple. Look like at his upper body. We can carry you all day. Come on, dude. It's, it's kind of that type of day, though. This treatment. There we go. You look good. good. Let's give him, uh, yeah, give him some good spinning. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> there we go. All uh, right, let's go. I think I know where I want to go, boys. Wait, actually, I don't know this place. <laughs> Wait, Corbin, 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 I know where to take him. I know, I know where I want to take him. Grab him. Grab him. Grab him. Let, let, just, Brandon, let Brandon take him. But I don't remember exactly how to get there. Yes, you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come here, come here. 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 Come Steps, you won't know what steps he's going on. Okay, okay. You know? Okay, steps, let's go. Steps, I also don't really remember how to get there, but we could try. I do. You do? I have a Oh! Hey, <laughs> you scared me. <laughs> hey, 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 hey
Papa, Papa cast it? Papa, how are you doing? Mm -hmm. Come on, cast it. Come on, Papa. Okay. Let's go to bed. It's time to go to bed, Papa. Okay. I guess. I guess. You know where we're going. Come on, Papa. Oh. Let's go take care of something real quick. What the hell? All right, Papa, pull your pants down. <laughs> no, you don't got to go pie? No. You don't got to go pie, Papa? Uh-oh. All right, Papa. No party tonight. Oh. You can open the door. Did you guys see that? What? Wait, why did that light just turn off? Did you turn it off? No. And that door, the bathroom door just opened by itself as y'all walked away. <laughs> and the light just turned off. By itself? So let's, yes. So let's keep going away from it. And wait, which? The, uh, oh, through this one? Whatever. Through this one? You sure? Yeah. Okay. Papa, can you smell the piggies? Ooh. Oh, good, good guy. We're at the farm, Papa. Yeah, leave me in the fucking bed. <laughs> After the fucking light turns <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah, great idea. What are you eating for dinner, Papa? Oh, great. We're going to a place that none of us have been to. What are you talking about? Lovely. Dude, if we can't figure this out, like, with visually, oh, I don't know what I was going to I remember this floor. I remember this town. No, you don't, Papa. You're having a little in the area. Papa, you're having flashbacks. All right, Papa. Uh, Evan, you want to go first? Because I can't see anything. Nope. <laughs> oh, great. Evan, <laughs> come on. Lovely. Um, yeah. You guys doing it without light? Mm-hmm. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 Please don't drop me in a room with a mannequin or the first thing I see is someone chained up. <laughs> I don't like how excited you guys are. Not exactly excited. Or freaking scared. Good idea, good. Take, take him in backwards. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Do you know how to glitch? That's an alarm. We're good. Let's keep that, going. No, that's like a. That's what he was talking about. What's that alarm? Shh. Shh. Okay. That's an old school alarm. Shh. Does everybody remember him saying that so Let's stop for a second. Everybody stop. That means someone broke in. He told us that. No, 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 no. He said people hear sirens, but there's no sirens anymore. That's what he just, that's what he told us. I mean, that was clear as day. Exactly. But if you guys heard the sirens, there are no sirens like that anymore. That was old school. That was like a 1930s like police siren. That was not from today. Yeah, he told us that people heard that before. That might be some like legendary evidence. Oh my god, we have to ask him. Dude, I think someone broke in. No way. Dude, there's no, you're telling me we just heard a phantom alarm that loud? That's what he said people have heard before. Do you understand how insane of evidence that is? If that's real? <laughs> what the fuck? That's clearly on camera. Well, yeah, 100%. That's what I'm saying. So either, wait, hold on. That either means someone fucking broke in, or we just got the greatest piece of evidence we've ever gotten. If, oh. if, if we talk to him after this, if you get out of here, I guess. I have his phone number. We can just put it on. You should, yeah, you should call him. Like, oh, here, let's close oh, it. Don't close it. When we get locked in. Hold wait, 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 we might get locked in. We might get locked in. No, 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 Hold the no, fuck. No, where are we? We're going to get locked in. No, 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 no don't, don't close it all the way. There's no door hinge. It can't, it can't lock. Okay, but just in case. Don't worry. I just, we need to keep him as closed in as we can. So he doesn't know what, where, where. Okay, honestly, Elton, you should call him right now. Wait, wait, wait. You can I, take I didn't write his phone number down. It's still written down in the lobby. Oh, oh no. I forgot Evan, to. Evan, do you have it? No. Dude! Do do? What do we no. do? Okay, no, okay, well, guys, wait, wait, listen. Here's what we can do. We leave Elton all alone. Cool. We'll go back. I'll call him from the number. Yes. And yeah, we'll figure it out. And then we go to Lulu's yeah, And then what if it is someone that broke in? I get fucking murdered. No, no, they'll see you in your wheelchair. Honestly, they'll see you in your wheelchair and they'll think that you're a patient. And yeah, they'll get more scared. I'm going 99% confident that someone just broke in here. I don't think so. 
There is he, no way that is a phantom. He said there's no alarm. He and, said and also, that. listen, why would it stop? Oh, no. Holy dude, you don't I'm why would it right stop? Now. That was insane. If that was the alarm that people hear, alarms if we stop. just got that on camera, alarms do not stop. That came, that came out of nowhere. I thought we were getting bombed. Is anyone walking right now? No. Someone else is then. What are you talking about? Wait, sh No one was just walking. Do you no. hear something? I mean, I literally, the only thing I can do is hear right now. Yeah. I don't get cold easily. Yeah. And I'm shivering right now, so. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. All right, should we? Um, we, we gotta make sure that this GoPro is good on them. Oh, yeah. And? Yeah. No, look at Elton, are you good? I'm just really cold. I've been getting colder and colder and colder. Okay. Dude, like, ever since we sat him in the wheelchair. Well, I know. Yeah, I don't know if it's because I'm just sitting still, but like, but this could have been a patient's wheelchair. Yeah. Dude, I'm getting like. And now they're angry. We may or may not have been in this area of the hospital before. I don't know. Do we need to bring this chair back though? Okay. Yeah. We'll take it back. You can just get up. All right, Papa. We'll let Pop Pop out of the chair. Come on, Papa. Walk. Come on, Papa. We're gonna walk. walk for the first time. Holy shit! <laughs> All right, you um turn this way. Give us like four or five minutes to get out of. Out four of here. or five minutes? Yeah. yeah. One. I don't want, won't even know how long that and is. And the camera will know how long it is, so you have to get. But out. I won't. Count, count to a hundred. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do a hundred. Okay, that's good it. luck. That's like all right. Oh, what Evan? If you're saying that, I'm fucked. Oh, Evan, um, I'm light. Elton. I'm sorry. Bring some light here. All right, one, two, three, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Where do I put it here? Twelve. Oh my god, here. Out of here, I'm already here. Oh, we're gonna hit you right now. 53. 58. Okay, okay. Come on. Come on. Was that always open? I need like. There's who's in front of me. Oh, that's my own GoPro. Oh, <laughs> Wait, I said, oh my god, I said there was something inside here with me. <laughs> Such an asshole! He did it to Corey the other day, so... Okay, I have to still be in the first floor. <laughs> I never got carried upstairs. I lost right now. Wait. Wait. It's push. locked. Push. Push really hard. No, I'm going this way. Left side. Brain says left. Brain says left. Oh my god. No, don't, don't lock it. Don't lock it. Don't do it. Don't. He, he could go to the basement though. I don't recognize this. I don't know where I am. Come on, come on, figure this out. Figure this out, figure this out. You need any kind of sign. Bathrooms, why would there be bathrooms here? Okay. Corey! What's up? <laughs> you can't see anything, guys. I'm told on, let me show this. That's what I see. I could not imagine being here alone, seriously. No. No, this, I'm gonna go to a dead end again. I, just, I need to find the floor. I heard you know, wheeling me. It was crackling. So I gotta find the floor that's crackling. Just, there it is. No! No! We ran half of this and we're still not there. We couldn't figure out how to do it and we were vision. We had vision. We had to take a break. Please, if you're in here, don't kill me. Exit. Okay. So, how do we get over there? Through this? Through here. Through here. Okay. 
Now what? Holy shit, boss. Okay. Oh, I know where I am. Ha! Huh. That's the window, that's a cigarette. And then through here again. Motherfucker, I did it. I probably shut at least 12 hours on that walk. And we ran for a long time, we walked for a long time. Like, he is far. Yeah, right? here's the thing, he's far. We did it less, right? I mean, it's like 100 seconds. That's like, what, less than two minutes, right? So it's 100 seconds, but. Even when we were going, we still didn't know where we were going. We got lost on the way back and we have light in four people. And, and we he, know how we walk. Hey, man, he doesn't know where to go. And you close so many doors. <laughs> oh, and that, that siren has to be freaking him out. He's probably turning around. He thinks that somebody's here. He thinks somebody broke in. Yeah. I don't know, to be honest. I really don't know what that was. But it was loud. Okay. What if we watch the playback and that siren's not in it? I will. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> we need to do an investigation here. So I'm now, in. yeah, because Lily might be going to bed. She's like six years old. No, that's outside. Wait, I had this. I had it. I had it. I had it. No, I remember this door. I remember this door. Pigs, 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 pigs. Yes. So, who's ready for the investigation? I'm so ready right now. We have the ambulance which will tell us words coming from the EMF. We've never used that in the last couple of places we've done. We've never used that. Okay, let's take it out. Uh, does anybody know what to turn on? Yeah, I got you. Guys, this guy has got to be. Uh, it's got to be 10 degrees. And I'm doing this just to try and scare them. So, if you don't think. I love making videos with this channel. I think that's up. I think I can see it right there. Okay, I turned the Oculus on. Oh, this thing's going crazy. Loop underline immediately. Enjoy. 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 Lily wants us to enjoy ourselves. Lily, are you in here with us?
There's someone at the window? No. Yeah, there's someone at the window. I can see them. There's someone at the window right there. But they're lowering their head now. There's someone. Look! It's Elton! No, it's not. What the fuck? What are you doing here? I thought you could trap me, didn't you? Oh my god. That scared me, dude. You boys thought you could trap me? Huh? We didn't try to trap me! Dude, it said field. I wonder if they were saying that Elton was in the field. Oh man. Anyways, it's cold and the only way back in is through the front door, so I will see you guys soon. Why do you go through the side? Oh my god. Dude, he Why did just... he come into the it wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it. My hands are frozen. <laughs> Still going up. Yeah, no, it's it's it hasn't beeped, but it keeps going up. It could not have been Elton. No, that's not Elton. Lily, were you touching that red one? Wait, was the K2 just spiking? Oh, oh, oh. Did the directional ring pod? Okay, let's go, let's go. Wait, shouldn't we stay in here? I think. So I would say there should be a light thing now we can, such as my camera light. Yeah. So maybe I should stay in here with somebody and somebody goes into the yeah. big scary dark abyss. Yeah. That's a good idea. I wanna stay in here. I don't wanna do that. that. You guys you, you guys are gonna stay in here. I wanna stay in here and see it. Brandon, are you brave enough to go? Okay, I'll go. Alright, see your court. Are you staying? Of course. Okay, good. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I was like, actually, I'm gonna go get Elton. It's Elton. <laughs> Damn it. This is going insane next to the toys. Look at that. What is it? What? Lily? I mean, it, that means it's coming from that direction. Coming? So that means it's coming from the music box. So that means there's energy right now on that side. Your camera might pick up something too. Oh, it's cool. off right now, actually. Oh, and it's left. That Lily, are you in here with us? There's someone in here, and, and is willing to be in here by themselves. I don't There's know. no type of person I want to. I don't want to be here. Yeah. Do you want us to get out of here? Would you like us to play your music box? That's what we should do. Do you think anyone? I'll, I'll try with it. Yeah, I have that. Yeah. What? Stop the music box. What? Yeah. You heard it. Right, right before we start to crank it, a little girl went, Ooh. Yeah. I can tell her there's no way when it gets in here. Anything that moves in this building is because it's big moving. Okay, um, Lily, do you want this to be played? I'm gonna play it, okay? Can anyone in this building hear the music?
Can you go into the hallway first and then we'll follow you? No, she's in here now. Maybe because of the music. Yeah. Lily, do you want us to play the music? Can you communicate? Because I asked if you don't want us to take it out there and give us a sign. Yeah. And then she I walked in. Like it, she came out there and here to be like, leave it. It was yeah. so slow. I've never seen it go red that slow. I know. It was. Slow. It was because all of a sudden she was slowly walking in and you're like, am I comfortable? Well, this just went all the way red. Can you talk to the uh, can you talk to this device, Lily? Oh I angry. Oh I angry. I just said can you talk to this device? Uh, what'd it do? I saw stuff. Why are you angry? Are you mad at us because we're in here? Did we play with one of your toys? Why are you angry? We don't want to make you angry, Billy. Can you shout out? I think she gave us a sign to not take it out of it. What did she what did it say? Crescent. How about the present? Remember, it's a little kid. She could be saying like present, and she just doesn't know. That just like. What is that you, Evan? What? 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 What just happened? What just happened? What just happened? Fuck. What just As I bit, it was Evan was at you. What? I, what? What? As I bit down in this ear, someone just went. You know what's cool about that? What? The watch is right there. The watch is at the door? Yeah, right recording. There. That's great news. Can you put this out there for me? <laughs> That's great news. Can you do that? You can still talk through this, Lily. This device is probably our best one to actually be able to talk to you. Friends. Us. Friends? Us? <laughs> Why are you holding that? Lily has the same favorite toy that I do. Back in the that's what Anna calls too, right? What did you say? Stand and bright. No way. I swear. Look. Stand bright. I think you should be down in the hall with the doll. Oh, well, we can fix that. Dude, I think, I don't think really likes the light in here. Well, it's thick. Dude, I mean, she said she likes when people play. This is the her. most I've seen obvious. Shall we bust out the night vision? Yeah. Okay, so. Guessing to clarify here though, doll, nothing. He, Billy, you can talk to him if you want. So, this doll isn't gonna do anything. Is it better down here? I want me to see the red pot of the doll. We can bring the night vision out. I, I think I should switch to night vision. Yeah, let's do it. Are you standing over here? So because I'm literally just stand, stand in the right. And I'm standing and I have a bright light. Yeah. Alright, so much on the box. Let's keep the watch and anything too. I have the EVP in my hand. What's it saying? Yeah. Yeah. So are you far down the hall? Yeah. Are you far down the hall? Oh, it's your way. Can you lead us into the direction that you want us to walk to? We can't see you. We don't know if you can see us, but we want to talk to you. I, th I think she's far. I mean, it, it, as soon as I walked out the door, this thing just said far. Let's go down the hallway. Or someone's far. What are the chances that Lily would ever go back up to the children's ward? Put your hand in front of my face right now, Allison. You're not wearing gloves. There is a freezing cold breeze right in front of me. Oh, I feel it too, my friend. It is. Mm -hmm. It's wind. I can feel it, yeah. 
there's no way wind gets in here. It's cold. It's freezing. Yeah. Oh, man, this place is creepy. We're everywhere to the sea. Dude, I don't know where to go. Let's go down the hallway. I'm just saying, if you're a little kid here, wouldn't you go up to the children's ward? Yeah. Oh. Um, hand? I said banned. She's banned? Or she wants to hear. Oh, banned. Oh, yeah. Alright, we're going, Lily. Yeah, this looks like a bad dream. Oh, this is really does. Ross found my one, too. I'm gonna leave that right there, okay? Let's see. Um, this is, this is more nice. I just wanna let you know this is more nice version of manual. What do you say? It's a during threshold. We're leaving the REM pod in the threshold of the door. Yeah. Dude, as soon as we start walking, it's going. It just has a feet. To eat. Maybe it hears our feet. Feet is our feet. So you're an orb. Yes. So we can't see you, but you can see us, and you're an orb. Are you just flying around us right now? Are you mostly? I swear to God, mostly okay. Show. Sure. Mostly okay. It's answering. Wow. Okay. My eyes are getting water. So, so you're an orb. Keep it going. This is working. It this just it just said restored. Oh. This whole area is restored, restored around rapture. No. This whole area that we're in is restored. Oh my god. It said Fangs Circle and it's raining. I don't even know. Thanks, Ryder. This room? Yeah. Did it sacrifice? So in that? Did it sacrifice? What is that? What's, what's that to the left? Lash wagon. Oh, okay. I thought I saw something in here. The children's bed. The children's room. And it's a relation to aggression. She said aggression. Aggression. You might not. Look. Children's bed, children's sheets, children's paint. You really said aggression. Maybe we shouldn't be in here. Oh, that was an insane amount of words come out of this. Yo, thing. yo, yo, whoa, 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 okay. look, look, okay, okay. <laughs> She would be. She would yeah. be that tall. Dude. If you want us to play the music again, can you make this device spike? Can you stand next to me or? What is that? Drag. Drag. Oh my god, that was huge. the worst noise. Do you see this? Guys. Dude. This is huge. Oh. <gasps> oh, red, oh, red, oh, red. Red. Okay. Can you make it go to red again and we'll start the music up? Oh, I've never seen it do this. 
All right, here you go. We're going to play the music. <laughs> you don't break it, though. All right, if you want to walk next to us so you can hear the music, you can. Oh, oh. Say it again, it went to orange. All right, come on here with us. We're just listening to music in the hall. We want to find you. We want to hang out with you, but we don't know where you are because we can't see you. Just can you make this device and I'm recording Spike like you've been? Island? Fine. That would mean walk towards your direction. Find a breaker on an island. That was me. Yes. A circuit breaker that's by itself. What if this is Lily? Hold the K2 up to it. Like what if that's why <gasps> it's just it went off as soon as you moved. What if that's why it's more active? It's because this is Lily. Lily, are you this are you a part of this object? Are you forever a part of this box, this music box, and that's why it won't play anymore? I just cranked it. It won't play? I literally just cranked it. Hey Lily, can you make this device spike that I'm holding if you want to go back to your room? Just to If you want to go back to your room, make this spike to yellow. If you want to come with us and we can bring the box with us to the basement and go talk to some other people, make this device spike. What just happened? <laughs> it literally just said linger and daddy. Like, I wonder if she's looking for her daddy. You got she, never met, she, her daddy. Daddy? she never met her dad. She never met her dad. She never met her father. Yeah. What? Matter. Does your father matter and you never met him? It just spiked again. Do you miss your daddy? Oh, oh. Red, red, red. Pulled. He was pulled away from her. Um, she was a prop and she was pulled. Oh my god. Red again. He just hit red again. That, that makes me want to cry. God. That is, that is that's so sad. sad. She's talking about her father. You know, I just said, do you miss your daddy? And it went to red the second I said it. Lily, I'm sorry. Have you not seen your daddy in a while? Do you miss him? She was born basically without, without. And the answer on that is just pull to yes or no. Yeah. Spiking to red could be no. Did you never have a daddy? Bring this to the children for it. We'll bring it back. Okay. Should we get her set? It's almost a bedtime anyway, right? Yeah. Let's go to the children's room. Yeah, but do y'all understand that as soon as I said that, it went to red about her dad? Yeah. Just because she's well, never met her dad. just started a little bit. Just because she's never met her dad doesn't mean she doesn't have one. You have to be a boy to. <laughs> she, you know, she can still miss, like, you know, somebody who's not there. Yeah. It says birds in release. Mm hmm. Close the ceiling down to release. Your lights flickering at me. Mm hmm. It's literally flickering on the ceiling. You stopped. Oh. Oh, it's, oh, let's go back to the room. Let's go to children's room. Let's get our stuff and move on. What's interesting is on the camera, normally this thing is night vision green. Yeah. It keeps going to black and white. What? Like right now, it's very black and white. Really? Here, Elton, come here. That's not very at all. Oh, now happen. it just became green. Oh, 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 oh. Dude, I actually black. Evan, yeah. Evan, 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 Evan. What is up with this spiking? Are you taking sorry, the power sorry, from sorry. our from our flashlight and our camera? Are you here with us, Lily? She's 
definitely here. Is the music box giving you more energy? That's what it feels like. Were you taking energy from our cameras and flashlights so that you can communicate with us? Elton, take a look. Look how black and white it is. Oh. That's a brand new battery in that camera. And right. infrared. Where are you? Let's just sit here for a minute and if nothing goes off, then it means it's a music box. in this direction. You literally just did full 360. Do you want us to go straight back to your room? That's... Can you put a little bit more power into this? Can you make it go yellow or red? It's on green right now. Do you like it when Koi's holding it? No. So what if she's not standing with us? What if she's standing with you? Uh -huh. She's sti- Are she you standing with me, Lily? She might be holding your hand. Are you walking next to me? Oh. <gasps> Alright, Lily, let's start walking down the hallway. Ready? Let's go back to your room. Come on, Lily. That's good. Wow. Dude, I'm gonna cry. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Oh, come on, Lily. Oh my god. Tear up a little bit, though. Okay, I'm sorry. We'll keep going. We'll keep going. It's a ram. Come on, here we go. We're almost back in your room. You're going crazy, dude. Come on, Lily. Let's go back into your room. Oh, dude, it just spiked all the way to red. If you don't want to be in your room, you can come with us. You don't have to stay in here. It said walk. Walk. It said walk American. She had to walk more American. We are Americans. We are Americans. I think it liked it. I think she liked it when we were walking. Yeah, let's let's pack up. Let's change her. Alright, we're gonna put our stuff back in the children's work. My heart right now. Lily, are you next to me again? Do you want to come with us? Are you holding my hand again and you want to walk with us? Why is she trying to lead us somewhere? 
Well, that's what I'm afraid of, is what if we lead her to the wrong part of the hospital? Mm. I know. What if we lead her towards Jim? Or Ruth? We do not want that. Oh, watch. Ready? It's only right here. Ready? Should we tell her that she should go back? Because this is going to be a really bad part of the hospital. Yeah, you should tell her, right? Because we're not going to it. Alright, make this spike a little bit higher if you're trying to get me to walk back this way. She's not trying to get me to walk this way. Do you want to walk this way with us? What do you say? Mm -hmm. put, it, put it next to her right here. It's not the camera. It's not. I thought it was the infrared camera. All right, Lily, if you're trying to come this way with us. Yeah, I thought it was the infrared right camera. Like Are you right here? Are you still next to me? This is so she weird. Should... <laughs> you need to tell her to go back. Yeah, she should go back. We're going to a bad place right. in the hospital. Should she go back? I would tell her to go back. She shouldn't be coming with us. Yeah. She's in the most peaceful part she's, of the hospital. She's literally standing next to me again. Ready? What the Tell her to go back to her room. If she thinks you're daddy. All right, Lily, can you go back to your room? We're gonna go walk to a different part of the building real quick, okay? And it's scary over there, so we don't want you coming with us. Lily? Oh my God. Can you please go back to your room? <gasps> no. Please don't. Oh. Thank you, Lily. Oh my God. We're doing it for your safety, Lily. We're just trying to keep you safe, okay? Oh! You gotta go to your room, Lily. Oh my god. You gotta go back to your room. Lily, be I know scared. you don't want to, I know it's making you mad, but you have to go back to your room. Or at least down the hall. We're going to a dangerous place, Lily. This is insane. Lily? Lily, do you not want to go because we have your music box? Do you, you want us to bring your music box oh, back? No. Put it over here, okay, Lily? That's yeah. probably it. That's it. it. Go put it back. I didn't know he still had that. Is that better, Lily? That's faint. Lily, can you make this spike high again if you want us to take the music box back to your room? We'll leave it here for you, okay? Sorry for taking it. <laughs> this is the, some of the craziest stuff. She's still seen. standing next to me. I think you should walk her and her music box back to her room. I, I, I think that right there is actually... Is actually what? Maybe not. I'm trying to think it's the infrared. Because those are strong cameras. Wait, did you go she back? Went, she, went back. she went back to her room. Yeah, the music box. Let's leave it there. Okay. I think we can't, we can't forget that though. We'll, we'll come back. We'll make it the last thing we do today. Oh Alright, Lily, before we leave, we'll take your music back so all the way back to your room. We're just gonna leave it in the hallway right now with you, okay? It's almost your bedtime, too. Jeez, oh Lily. I'm gonna God. cry, bro. Dude, you were literally just on our way to reset cameras. I want, I kind of want to take it back to her room, man. Okay, let's do it. Let's go. All right, Lily. Come on. All right. Corey's gonna take it. We're gonna go all the way back. I should just Corey take it. Just Corey take it. Okay. I don't want to go by myself. We were with Lily. You're not by yourself. Oh my Lily, god. Lily, you want to go by myself? <gasps> Look at that. Oh. oh. Lily, I don't want to go back there by myself though. I'm gonna bring my friends. No. Nope. <laughs> This is the most I've ever seen from this the This is the most. I've never had an experience like this no, in my life. To go off Dude, no. in Eloise, Mansfield, Alcatraz. No, the last time I even remember going off was at uh, Execution Rocks. Going off going off. No, it never did this. It's safe. I mean, you know it's safe. Oh my god, dude. 
That's right next to the box. Dude. Can you come with me, Alton? Just stay far behind me or something, dog. I'll put the box in your pocket. She only wants you to take it. But can you walk with me and like I'll go in the room by myself? You that is the worst <laughs> noise Stop ever. Doing oh that. my god. Alright, Lily. If you make it go all the way red right now, I'll take it by myself with you. Please, please, please. I think she left, dog. Lily, are you still here with us? Are you still right next to me? Or are you mad at me now? You want to just leave it here with No, I, I, I want to take it to her room. Did you do it? <sighs> I heard it. I heard that one. Way to write as I said that. Really? I heard it, it from here. Like the camera movie. heard it. Yeah. I heard that go off. Alright. Just put it on. Oh, my. Don't worry, dude. She's... Alright, Lily. If I'm going to walk this back to your room, I want you to walk next to me again, okay? Keep it safe. <laughs> Video or she's, she's standing next to me. Oh my god. Okay, this is so I'm way. Alright, Lily, hold my hand. Come on. I don't see it going off. Let's go back to your room. Come on. I'm pretty confident that this will stop playing music the second you get to the room. Will you walk with me? Why would you why would you do that to him? Elton, okay. Elton, so why would you do that to him? So I really can't find myself. You guys can walk with me, come on. But you asked multiple times That's if stop. you could bring your friends in, it stop, and then you said, do I, you want me to go by myself? And every time it went bright red. And I think that's what she wants. Corey, the only good thing I could say is that this is, seems to be something really positive. It know? is, and you know, at like least this isn't happening upstairs with like the murderers. Yeah. This is happening with Lily, who's just a playful little girl. Exactly. Are you not next to me anymore? Yeah, she is. Yeah, oh my god, right, are you see, can you get that going off there? The lid just closed. What? The lid just pushed itself closed on me. Yeah, I shouldn't do that. You're right. Don't forget that. Come on, Lily, it's time for bed. Dude, I don't know, man. That's crazy. Yeah, dude, Corey's crying, man. I'm like, he's, he's legitimately crying. He's a little girl. Come on, we're back in your room. Right back where it was. All right, Lily, have a good night. All right, have a good night, Lily. We're gonna go walk around the building some more. It's time for bed. It was nice meeting you, have sweet dreams. Some of the most incredible evidence you ever got to, because I think that this might be the highlight of my <laughs> ghost career. How it was just going off to me asking her questions, and she was straight on answering, like instantly, and she was holding my hand and. She wanted us to take her toy back, you know? Mm -hmm. She didn't want to go to bed unless she had her music box back in there. How was it? Precisely when we walked in the room? No way. Precisely when the music box turned off? Exactly when it stopped just going off. Huh. <laughs> I mean, like, literally, he was dead center to the room. Where we picked it up off first. No way. Last note. That was probably because it was super close. Yeah. Pretty cool. Cool. Yeah. All right. So after everything with Lily, yeah. yeah, we actually spent so much time there that even though we said we were gonna do ten spots, I think we maybe have time for 
two or three more before the sun rises. There was no reason to, man. Like, that was... Yeah, we couldn't cut that one short. Yeah, we're not going to end for the sake of it. And, like, legit, like, we have a few hours till sunrise. Yeah. So, we said Lily was probably the nicest. She was the most peaceful, yeah. Well, let's go to the other end of the spectrum. Yeah. Which is the violence ward, which is the third floor. Opposite end. (laughs) And more specifically, where Jim Woods is. And from he there, the guy. we'll go into the room yeah. where they tried to hang and then murdered another patient. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And um, keep in mind that the patient that was murdered was, I believe, deaf and mute. He was like 20 was something, mute. but he had the mentality of a nine year old. So, audio recordings I don't think will work. And I don't think spirit boxes will work. Mm, so, yeah. I just we'll have to figure it out, and then from there, see how long that goes. We'll that's start making your way to the other side. Well, Jim Woods will be able to speak through, exactly. through stuff, you know? That's the most violent thing I think we've ever heard. Yeah. The, mean, with, with the whole bed? With, uh, let's let's of, talk about it. Should we explain, we explain that, how that happened? Like, this is group seclusion. This has a recent history. September 17th, 1987, there were three patients in here. One was Dean Matheny. Dean had like the mentality of an eight year old, plus he was deaf and mute. He bit somebody, he got in trouble, and the doctor said, well, if he wants to be Billy Badass, he's gonna send him up here to the violent men section. So they threw him in here with Jim Woods, which I kind of told you about earlier, and there's a guy, another guy by the name of David Mason, and they took one look at Dean and they said, no, not on our watch. So they grabbed the sheets off their bed, they wrapped it around his throat, and they threw it over the water plate, and they lifted him off the ground until he lost consciousness, right? They dropped him to the floor and to wake him up, they kicked him in the ribs and in the head. And he stirred, right? So they got him back up and they did it a second time. Dropped him to the floor, kicked him awake again, he stirred again, so they brought him up, hung him back up, and then when he lost consciousness this time, they let him down, but they grabbed a metal frame bag, they put the post right on top of his head, and they took turns jumping up and down on the bed until the post went through his skull and hit the floor. Yeah, yeah that was definitely that's the most awful. malicious. That's awful. It's yeah, disgusting what they did. And that's real. Yeah. Like, it's not a movie, it's not, you know, where it literally sounds like a movie. Like, What's more bizarre to me that he didn't address is that he knew precisely how the murder happened. Yeah. Which means someone precisely told how the murder happened or yeah. watched and said nothing. Yeah. And that's kind of what he made it sound like. He said they wanted to make an example of it. He did, so I wonder if the doctors just watched it all happen. Oh I wonder if the doctors encouraged it. No, not encouraged it. They put him up there knowing what was... Maybe, maybe they told him... What if they, they were scared to stop him? They, they said he ran this whole place. And they said he was 6'3", 350 pounds. And Boxer. a boxer. Yeah. That's a big dude. They're probably terrified of him. They probably couldn't do nothing but watch and wait for the cops. You can't Maybe. do anything against that guy. Maybe he's about to meet the first person that isn't terrified of him. Alright, well, <laughs> it's a robbery, it's like no antagonist. I don't yeah. think it's me. It's like no taunting. I know that he's referencing what Zach Bagan does. Okay. I can't believe you got back. I can't either. It took a while though. <laughs> I... I don't know how long that took me, actually. It took you, what, you were only there for like, what, 100 mm-hmm. seconds? What I'm most excited about is to play back the clip, because when I was counting, yeah. I thought one of you was still in the room. That's what? creepy. I thought one of you was gonna stay in the room to scare the shit out of me, oh, no. when I took the blindfold off, and then you were gonna do it with me. Wow. I swear, <laughs> I thought someone was on my left shoulder, that been going cool. like that, and just kind of being like, Jeez. Like how I keep going up to like tickle you guys Should through the staircase. Oh. oh, you ran to the door. I ran to the oh. door. <laughs> oh my god. I hate it when Evan makes noises because then I know that something probably like, happened. The worst noise Evan makes is the oh, 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 oh. oh guys, this is it. Oh boy. Is it down here? They I say that people are oh. Hey guys. What? Yeah. Cigarettes. Oh, those oh, cigarettes, yeah. Yep. Turn that light on for some reason? Oh, yeah. This is his, this is Jim Wood's room where he committed the first murder. Where he beat the guy to death with his own hand. Yeah. Yeah. Where he beat the guy, because I put my tape right here. Oh, wow. So, we can start here. Or we could honestly maybe just start right here in the hallway because people always said they would see him. Just keep looking that way. That's what I'm doing. Is anyone else running out of breath? Yeah. I mean, I know we went up two flights of stairs, but that should be good stuff, right? No, I just have really bad, like, anxiety, like, back pain now. Is everyone freaking out? I'm kind of freaking out of it. Isn't that, we were all downstairs, well, you know, different. around the no, lily. You it's know a why? different energy up here. You know why I'm freaking outside. out, though? How much energy we just got from down there. I mean, we know this place is absolutely 
crazy haunted. And right. now we're at the bad side. Now we're at the worst part. I think if anything, if we aren't able to investigate all the rooms, we should at least make sure we take the tape off of every single spot before we leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have to. We, should be last we can leave. Well, yeah, there were some he people that left said it. a rule. There was no taunting, no Ouija boards, and no messes. And well, that's a mess. Oh, God. Hmm. Okay, let's go. I don't even know where you put them. Was it go? I'll be honest. Should we go inside? I don't think I know either. <laughs> okay, I got this one. <laughs> yeah, I got the rest. <laughs> Great. Perfect. That's two. Oh, I think we actually left the one on Lily's room too. Oh no. Oh, that's Corey's. Yeah, Corey's gotta go back. What do you? What's that? What's? <laughs> None of us knew what Evan was trying yeah, to tell us to do. No, 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 no. What was this? What's that curtain? Like? Dude, that legit would have. There's no handle on the outside. We wouldn't have been able to let him out. Stop. Stop. <laughs> oh, no, you, 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 I think you might have been okay. Oh, yeah, you would have been. Probably been fine. Oh, jeez. But we couldn't have done anything out here. I would have been so. <laughs> oh. Set me down there. Yeah. With the uh, noise canceling headphones on. Oh, you fucker. And then you guys are right here. Yeah. That's yeah. beautiful. Wow. That's so you guys beautiful. are sitting like that, kind of open. Then yes. Evan can shoot this way and see me and you in one shot. Brandon, did you see. Hmm. You saw that shadow, it was to the right. You're positive it's not who's, my shadow. Who's walking around? You're positive it's not us. There's a lot of people. Positive it's not one of us? Uh, I know you saw that too. I guess, uh, we I'm hoping both. it's just my eyes playing tricks on me right now. There's a lot of paint chips in there too. Let's try it. Alright, let's go. I'll give you guys all the tools. That's the thermal gun. And then, I want to get a K2. And then I'll keep the night vision on me. <laughs> so. What's that light at the end of the hall floating? Wait, don't see that. Do you see the light? It just went away! Oh, wait, there it is. Wait, there's the light. I see it. It's, it, it's gone. It's gone. Oh. It, what is that? It's gone. Uh, now it's gone. No, it, it wasn't like a flashlight. It was like a tiny sparkle <laughs> in the middle of the room. <laughs> It's gone now. Yeah, like you saw, saw that. that. <laughs> what else saw that? Did you see it? Evan, can you shine your light all the way down the hall? Can you watch out? Yeah, sir. You saw that. There's, there's nothing there. I saw, I saw that Dude, same we, thing you saw. What did you see? Dude, it's, it was a light. It looked like it was about this high. I'm like, kind of on the left side. So, so, you guys are, so basically you guys are seeing like orbs right now. Dude, but an orb is like a white ball. This yeah, was just see? like yeah. a shiny dot. It's gone. Dude, there's legit nothing out there now. Holy shit, Brandon. That's the other room. What's the other That's room? That's the murder room. That's the murder room. That's the bad murder room. Mm. Down that Dude, hall. You saw that too, bro. I definitely saw that. You saw that. Huh. You know what else Jesus. might also be down there? What? The ball that you didn't put back. Oh my god, that's right. You didn't make it all the way back in. You have to... Know that. I'm pretty sure I made it back in. I, I, I just threw it. Yeah, well that... You don't know that. Well, gentlemen... Yo, it's really gone. I'm sorry, I'm just still freaking out. The sun is gonna rise soon. So. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's oh, yours. we got the obulus? I think it's calling you. You guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay, we're gonna start this investigation. I'm gonna turn on the obvious as well. I'm not on yet. Okay, I'm just gonna turn on the obvious. So we're gonna try to talk to Jim. I think he's coming down that hallway. Oh yeah, no, I'm done. I can't hear anything. Can you hear us now? Hello? Oh, I can't hear. Alright, good, good, good. He's got a heat. Alright, we good then? Yeah. Alright. So, we wanna to talk to you guys, whoever's up here with us, about the murders that took place on this floor. Who was up here with us? You were caught. How many spirits are up here with us? Ooh. Holy shit. It's going off on him, bro. A lot. We know this is a really violent place. Were you a violent person? Wow, I like that. Violence. You're a violent person. Are we talking to Jim, who is the most violent here?
Are you there, Jim? Jim, we know you ran this floor. And you were in charge of it. Is that who we're speaking to? Are we speaking to Jim right now? Who's up here with us? I'm right here. Nod. Nod. Where are you? I'm right here, Nod. Art? Where are you in this building right now? We can't see you. Yeah. Him. Are you over by Elton? You can communicate through Elton. I've heard nothing but two people scream. What? Were you murdered here? It's in him? It's in him. What's in him? I heard that. We can hear you up here. And we want to speak to you. I haven't heard anything. Like, I, like nothing. I heard two screams and I haven't heard anything. I literally heard like two screams yeah. and I nothing was decipherable. Oh. I mean, no, we normally we hear things and... Do you think we need to get into the, the room where the murder took place? Do you think there's not a lot of activity out here in the halls or... I don't know. Do you want us to try talking to you in a different room? Should we not be in the hall? That is just spiking. It's right? spiking so much. What is it not saying? It's just not, yeah. Well, maybe let's switch rooms. Let's, uh, go, let's go in the room. Yeah, that's bizarre in here. I mean, like, I don't want to rush it or anything, but like, it's not. Like, that is weird. I don't think we've ever had a spirit box session where you don't hear anything at all. Yeah, yeah. completely. Alright, here we go. Okay. Here it is. Alright. Was this a hey, was this the bed? Yeah. Well, I don't know if it was the They were probably gonna be the bed. They probably like, broke the bed. Yeah. Yeah, I mean great. Oh man, they were breaking the bed and it's Can you imagine having that sheet wrapped around your neck? And someone In hung three it. separate times? Three separate times until the third time you passed out. And as you're pa oh, they said like as he was like going unconscious, they would drop him and kick him until he would wake up. Three times. You and death. These are kind of heavy chairs. Yeah. Alright, these I'm going to set this up out in the hallway. Ooh, that's a good idea. I mean, we'll hear anything in here. But anything that's farther away could be picked up better. Yeah. Exactly. That we won't be able to hear so well, you so, know? Like if there's conversations going on in the hallway. That literally fell in the center of frame down and scared the crap out of me. Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> he just saw it! He <laughs> was <laughs> Cool, Alright, so the memory mod is near the recorder. So oh my god, it's not It's cool, dude. And then we were walking on top of the recorder. What? Someone's watching us. Is there someone standing in that door over there watching us? Somebody's watching Okay, so just so everybody knows, the killing that happened in this room was James Woods and David Michael Mason. They both killed a guy named Dean Metheny. And Dean Metheny was the person that slept over here. Dean, is that you standing in the doorway? Uh, David Mason, David Michael Mason, and James Woods killed Dean Metheny. Or is that David and James standing over there? Dude, it's just so what, what I will say, everything we're told is that Dean is nonverbal, and he only knows how to do kind of physical things, so 
that would be one of them. Yeah. So it would make sense if you came in. God, I hope it's Dean. Seriously, because I don't want it to be, you know. Dean, if that's you, can you touch that antenna? Or can you get a little bit closer? That device will beep, and then we can know it's you coming in here with us. We can give the portal a go, but, I mean, we'll see if he can communicate through it or not. Yeah, from you, I don't know. But maybe if anybody talks, it's Jim. Oh, boy. I don't want to talk to Jim. Alright, if anyone knows, the portal is basically like a uh, spirit box. Yeah. So the scan is sort of like backwards. So if you hear anything forwards, it's essentially that's what you're detecting as a spirit. Let's make sure we get all the tape. Okay. And then let's go down to the lobotomy room and see how that goes. And carry on from there. So we need the staircase to go up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is cold. It's very, very cold. Oh, it's even colder in here, dude. <laughs> oh, oh, is it this wait, door wait, right here? Oh, there it is. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh this is where he was stabbed. Uh, this is where he was stabbed and dragged. It was this one. Yes, yes, yeah. this is the top. Yes. So this is still, there is another piece of tape though on the other attic where the raccoon was. Well, let's go to the lobotomy. Oh my god, dude, I just got chills up my spine. <laughs> what are you looking at? What? I don't know what I just heard. What'd what you hear? That? You wanna go on there? Dude, what I really just heard sounds like this. No. What? You just heard a, a drag? <laughs> Do you want to go on there? Dude, have you ever seen me do that? Wait, 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 wait. Hey, you heard a drag? I literally heard a noise that sounded like... So, you mean 
the guy that was dragging himself out after. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I always love the way they like shine a light in here, like we're just gonna see him like, hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what was that? What did you just say? I said it's terrible being in the back. I don't know how you do it. Oh. <laughs> it's awful. Why because, is it awful? Well, the thing is, oh! What was that? He just locked us in. What did, did you, you know what I said to Evan on the way up? I was like, oh, that door closes, I bet you won't open. Uh, oh. Let me try it on this side. Uh, this side doesn't open, you bet it opens from the inside. Oh, 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 oh my god. god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> right. I would not open from the outside. Wait, but also, imagine what would have happened if that did. We have everybody over here, and he's like, I already oh. thought, I was starting to panic already, because yeah, I thought you guys were going to leave me, and I would have just bolted oh, okay. out to the car. <laughs> and then just left us up here when there's no other way down? Well, I would have went and found the guy or something. I don't know, but I wouldn't want to be in this whole building by myself. At least you guys are all together. That could have been bad. That could have been so <laughs> bad. He could have pranked himself. That would have been Honestly, bad. I wish we got stuck. Yeah. Okay. That would have been we could have found a way out, but Brandon, Brandon I've already done it once. I guess I could do it twice. <laughs> Brandon, I was gonna point behind you and just start freaking out. I'm like, oh, oh, dude, oh, yeah, you guys all run out. <laughs> <laughs> then we all run away. <laughs> we got oh, my God. I just terrified myself when I showed it and couldn't get back to you. All I could think about was like, not that you guys are gonna be mad at me, but like, you guys could just run away and leave me. Yeah. I don't think there's another um, staircase in there. Now, if I if I did this correctly, it's actually right here. Wait, where? Just like that. Wait, where? Wait, where? Stop, stop. Evan. Dude, I'll freak out. Oh, I saw it. It's not here. Is it over here? No, because no. it was a metal grate right here. Yeah. No, we gotta go. I know where it's at. Oh yeah, we. <laughs> no, we gotta head to the end. 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 We gotta head to the that's true. Okay. But... What does that mean? Do we, should we go down there? Well, the lobotomies are down here, right? Over here, I believe. Let's go. Let's try both. Ah, oh, here we go. There's two. Oh, oh there, we go. there we go. There we go. We're getting the scavenger hunt going right now. That's two. Alright, this is the lobotomy recovery room. Yeah. So, the uh, lobotomies happen not too far away from here. So, if anything, Magical spirit might try and find the body which it belongs to. Yeah. We're just going to do a spirit box session out loud. See what happens. I mean, I'll turn this on anyway. It looks like it's Yep. Okay, that's on. Alright. Should we sit down? Uh, honestly, I'm okay standing. Stand down. Yeah. Alright, try to get this. Makes it easier to run. Dude, that was like, look, 
right as you just Look what I'm doing. Interrupt the moment. <coughs> as I... Those two words in sequence. That's that's a pretty crazy thing. I turn thing. off the signal and put my hand on it. The odds. What are the odds? Wow. I've never even seen those two words on this Oculus ever. Maybe let's uh, go get the rest of the tape. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sounds good to me. Plan for return another time. Oh my god, this place. Yeah. It's so this place crazy. is too big for one night. So crazy with the activity. Six acres indoors. And we spent, what, almost all of our time in the first one? Yeah, which is yeah. like but Between taking a tour of the place and the lily thing that was yeah. happening, this place is way too big for one night. Yeah, I haven't got anything else. Wow. So I didn't want to say it at all, uh, but halfway through the spirit session, see that white... Uh, vertical post pillar thing uh -huh. that the light's reflecting off of. Yeah. I don't know if it was a lighting trick or not, uh, but about halfway down, it looked like something crossed it. Would you say it looked like a black figure? It got darker. Get, get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Did it just say, wait, show, the, show camera. the camera before? Black. As you started to tell me what you were going to say, I saw oh, that pop up and I just, I just waited. That's pretty crazy. Too black. Mm. Said you saw something fade, right? Mm -hmm. Fade to black. Wow. And that is our way out. Yeah, let's, we let's can go. We can go a different way, I think. I'm uh, going gonna, gonna to keep this out as we walk and okay. get the ribbons. That's a good idea. Get I'm going to check it out. I'll see you guys later. Oh, <laughs> As we're leaving, it says thank and window. Black to window. Window to black. How confident are we that we can get the rest of these tapes? Uh, Let's at least get the raccoon one. I'm not confident at all. Right? So the raccoon one and the lily one. You know the raccoon one's like complete opposite, like we're in the basement yeah. on one side. We gotta go to the attic of the whole other side. We okay. have to go to the opposite. It's yeah. gonna be a long time. Let's, Let's get it. Man, if anyone didn't see part one, well now they're gonna get a tour of this whole place. I don't know exactly how to get back up. Stab, catch, and lead. Are you should stab? Yeah. Oh, oh it's um, so I believe right here. Isn't this where the dude crawled to the... Yeah. No, no, no. I thought that was the nurse station. No, that's that's substance abuse. Uh, I'm so confusing this place. Do you have leg burning? Uh, no, of course not. <laughs> you know, my favorite thing to do is climb stairs in tents. And also go walk in the dark. It doesn't make any sense. Have we seen this place? This is the gymnasium area. No, but what? It was straight ahead. No, that's the gym. That's a, the that's the gymnasium. Oh, this is the one floor above the gymnasium. Yeah. So you can look down into it. Yes. What? But I still don't know where the raccoon was. I think it was to the left. Okay. Is this not a window? I just want to look in here. Oh my god, there's no window here. It's such a huge room. We might have to come back to get all of the tape. <laughs> Dude, that might be a good video. We didn't even get to Ruth, by the way. Right. No, no, we did, we did, because Ruth was the like there. hallway. In the area where the uh, violent women will attack all at one time. Yeah, yeah, we didn't do any oh, of that. Oh my god. Same way. Ooh. Ooh. No. It's better with these stairs. <laughs> <laughs> We're literally racing the sun right now to get it. Oh, Brandon. Oh, is this it? No. No. No, but I'm out of the tape here, though. What the? Oh, wait, no, we, we, didn't we, we didn't go through here. We didn't. We never went through here. What? Dude, there is so <laughs> much more. <laughs> what? The I'm hell? so dude. Where the hell was the raccoon at? Why would have like a shipping dock going in this? I have no idea what we are. What the? Mmm. Oh, I don't know, dude. We're not finding anything. Let's just go down to Lily's room then. Alright. Alright, we'll go to Lily's room then. Oh, I know where it is. Um, 
it's gonna cut to the right. We went through that crazy door, remember? And then we went all the way up. I don't know. That's where that is. If I remember, <laughs> I would have taken it that way. No, no, no. Okay. Separate section. Just, um, remember, at the end of this hallway, we went to the right, and that door that slides down because of a fire. Oh, yeah! Was, oh, we went all the way. Oh, it's all the way through there. there. Then up. It was a it's a Holy crap. Dude, yeah. this place is so goddamn big. Wow, that is insane. I want to come back, but with like the best paranormal investigation team ever. Oh my like, god. Like people that really know their stuff. They know how to do photographs and all the crazy elements. You can take pictures. You got the tape? Yep, there's the tape. Well, we'll come back another time. Bye, Lily. Thank you, Lily. Lily. Bye, Lily. Well, let's grab our gear and head out before they start their morning tours. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, I'm for so real. Late. <laughs> All right, everyone. Well, appreciate you uh, joining us on this adventure. Sun's rising in I don't know, probably an hour or so, but they got to go. Not allowed to sleep here. Yeah. Um, but we've stayed here as long overnight as we can. Yeah. Um, uh, just what happened with Lily this was and insane. that room. Yeah. Crazy, but we, we have to come back. Like, same thing to. with the reformatory. We have to come back mm -hmm. and maybe have a guide with us the entire time. So we yeah, definitely, that. definitely. With I think we history. underestimated the size of these places. Like, these are not one-night investigation places. Oh. These are huge. Oh. I, I truly think had you guys dropped me off by myself on a different floor. Yeah. Hours. Maybe, you know hour, maybe yeah. hours to figure it out. Yeah. Hours. Uh, hours to figure it out. Uh, dude, I mean, I think that took me 30 minutes and like I was on one floor. Yeah. So This place is so big, it's actually crazy. It yeah. is. But I'm really, really glad that the activity that we got was pretty positive. Yeah. It was great. That well, was I'm glad we started there. You know? Yeah, seriously. Look what happens when I don't bring evil Dybbuk boxes. Yeah. No, 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 See, no, no. Look what happens time. when I say that you can't do anything yeah. <laughs> like insult <laughs> a ghost or anything <laughs> like that. That's what happens. Yeah. To be fair, the rules just said no Ouija boards, no taunting, didn't say nothing about demons. That's still kind of tied an arm behind your back, I would say. <laughs> mm. uh, but thank you guys for, for watching and tuning in to this 25 weeks. <laughs> Um, we oh, are going yeah. to Moundsville Penitentiary, otherwise West Virginia Penitentiary, tomorrow, oh. and then after that we're sleeping at the Belair House, like actually <laughs> sleeping, showering, oh, living great. there for 24 hours. Um, <sighs> so that's going to be great. And then after that, probably do a little road trip. Oh, there's a lot of stuff still planned. Um, appreciate you guys sticking around, and uh, yeah. see you in the next video. Yeah. Thank you guys. Later. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.